Do you want to get your way more often? Like it doesn't even need to be with a sale pitch or prospecting or, you know, lead generation. This could be just personal wise, like to get a promotion, to get a job, um, you know, to get a date, to get a spouse, to get your spouse to do something. <laughs> the, the bottom line is, do you want to get your way more often? If you do, here's a communication hack that I use often, of course, in sales because I'm in sales. And the motive, the entire goal of using this communication hack is that I just want what I want. <laughs> right? And I think that if you want the same thing, if you want to get more compliance, if you want to get, you know, whatever it is you want, whether it's a, a sales, a, a, you know, sense of urgency, if you want, you know, someone just to do a favor for you, hell, you could even use it with your kids, you know, whatever you decide to use it on, this communication hack is very effective. And my only ask to you, because I'm giving you this information for free, is that you you don't do harm upon anybody you don't try and persuade or use this communication hack to have somebody do what's not best for them although the communication hack is very effective my trust is in you and in this community that you're going to do good by learning this communication hack so both parties you and the other party need to have a mutual benefit from this engagement if you decide to use this hack let's go hey. my team came from the bottom on the rise yeah God, please don't get me lost in this ride, yeah With the sleep, I had a dream of that fish girl And she spoke up and put it right on the street every day What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host. And in these episodes, as we go into the fall season, today is Halloween, you're gonna notice that I'm driving more and more in the dark and that's just the sign of the times. We're going into a new season, time's about to change. And I appreciate your patience as it seems like sometimes for those of you who are watching, um, you're just looking at a dark screen. It's not my lighting <laughs> per se. It is the fact that it's just dark. And right now it's about a quarter to seven on my way home to get ready for my work or my job and in the in the in the journey of going from the gym to the house i like to capture some content for the audience so that i can share with you certain hacks and techniques that can ideally help you improve your day-to-day -day habits and help you generate a couple extra sales now in this video i'm going to tell you a simple communication hack that both beginning novices entering into sales as well as expert like advanced level salesmen can use today in order to increase their sales increase their production and so first off I want to start with the novices the the people who are somewhat new to the sales industry um, you know maybe you haven't been doing this for a couple decades like I have and I want to share something with you because I believe that when you are a novice and when you're when you're starting out in sales what your current sales training teaches you is to listen and serve right in, in in a nutshell is it's more or less customer service minded and so that's why they say, say talk, you know smile or dial uh, with a smile or smile when you talk and it's to teach you how to use enthusiasm to teach you how to you know provide value and so as a novice or as a beginner in sales you may misinterpret that message as to listening and doing whatever the prospect says or whatever they ask for. And so I want you to think about this because ultimately, right now, you're getting requests from your prospect because the advancement in technology and communication, it puts the consumer, the everyday consumer, regardless of what they qualify for, regardless of, of where they are financially, if they can buy your service or if they cannot, it's wired and conditioned the consumer to have this sense of freedom to ask for what they want. We are just in this, in this era of technology that we have this perception that we can all do what we want to do and we can all get what we want. And it's, 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 it's technology that has made it this simple because of the advancement of our communication. And so anyway, long story short, if you're a beginner, whenever you, hit, you, have, you engage with a prospect, they're going to ask you for certain things. Some will request for certain things. They will demand certain things. Like uh, in my trade, as a mortgage banker, I get a lot of requests for free services, right? And although in my industry and as a, as a seasoned professional, I know and you know that there are no 
vendors, there are no companies, there are, there's no such thing as capitalism if, uh, if, if organizations did the opera operations that they do or the service that they do with no return. Otherwise, how would they pay the bills? How would they you know, pay the overhead? How would they pay the salary? So there are no companies that actually offer free service. There's always something intended or expected in return. And, um, and anyway, you're still going to get these requests from prospects. And I believe that at a beginner level, you, you tend to listen and only want to give what they request or what they demand for. And as a beginner, if you understand or if you learn that you cannot deliver what they ask for, right, or, or what they want, then you are going to feel defeated. You may not necessarily say you're defeated, but because you are feeling defeated or because you feel that you are under delivering or lacking the ability to provide that, that want that the customer has or the lead has, it comes through in your delivery. It comes through in your tonality. It comes through in your body language. And ultimately your mindset begins to convince you and thus will convince your prospect that you're not serving any value. And so it's this rigorous process that you must go through years of experience te technically to learn that it's something that you can overcome. It's something that you need to condition yourself. And so for example, if you, if you don't really work out every day, you may, you may not be conditioned in a way to where you can jog around the block a couple times without stopping. And so it's, it's a matter of conditioning. It's a matter of experiencing and going through the process. And so the, the fix is, is understand that in sales, it's not about selling what they want. It's about selling what they need. It's serving what they need. And so with the requests that your prospects have or your leads have, it's not a matter of, of hearing their words because understand that those words are typically programmed by the marketing piece that they saw or that that in that incentivize them to inquire and so they may ask for free service but you have to understand that that's not necessarily what they need that's what they want and there's a difference you see when when you become good in sales it's because you understand the science of the selling and the science of selling is actually not giving what they want it's serving what they need does that make sense? There's a huge difference. And so my prospects and my leads all the time ask for lower rates because that's what they want. That's what they saw in the marketing piece. They also want free services and they want hassle-free process because that's what they want and that's what they see in the marketing piece. However, inside the interview or the application in the sales conversation, I, that is the time that I learn what they need. So that by the time I produce a sales pitch, I'm not asking if I can give them what they want. I'm giving them what they need. I'm serving them with what they need in a way that communicates to their emotions so that they are enticed to take action. There's a difference. Because when they tell you what they want, that's their logical mind talking. But in the sales conversation, if you learn how to extract the right information, you're speaking to their subconscious. You see, their subconscious is their emotional side. It's their emotional part of their brain. And that is what makes the decision to buy. It's not the logical side. The logical side just justifies it. And so that's my, that's my recommendation to you guys. If you're brand new and you're, you're trying to wonder how come you can't seem to make any sales, it's because you're more focused on what they want, not serving what they need. There's a difference. And then finally, for my expert salesmen who are watching this video, the, this is a little bit more advanced, although novices at some point, you will be able to do this. But you might be like, okay, well, Daniel, tell me, how, how is it that I can figure out what they want or how can I you know, read their character if I'm selling over the phone? And this is something that I do and I'm, I'm, I'm an expert at. And it's a matter of understanding how they like to interpret the information, what their preference of communication is. 
in order to effectively sell them. I believe that if you can learn this advanced technique, this advanced hack, you could literally sell any price tag, any service, any reputation. And again, this is why I said at the very beginning, you know, you promise not to use this content or these hacks to do any harm upon anybody. You are not to take any advantage of any take advantage of someone to to put them in a worse state. There has to be mutual benefit. They have of course the prospect or the lead or the person you engage with has to walk away with immense value. So use this though, and I and I believe that sales, we have this challenge of having to sell people to help themselves. And it's unfortunate, but it's just this conditioning that consumers have because again, technology is, is, is advanced communication so much in a way that predators are able to get away selling trash. And so now we are left with having to convince people to help themselves and and only the cha the challenge will only be met by those who deserve to meet the challenge and i believe you deserve to meet the challenge because you've taken roughly now about 10 minutes into learning techniques to be better at your job and so this advanced technique is very very effective because it communicates in a way um, that that moves straight to the subconscious mind of your prospect and it delivers in in a almost a hypnotic way because Ultimately, this advanced technique and why I say it's advanced is because you as a novice shouldn't necessarily focus on this one thing because you'll miss everything else. Whereas an advanced salesperson, they're already kind of auto-tuned, they're auto-programmed um, to hear these things uh, or conduct certain actions to where they could pick up certain things. And that one thing, this one advanced thing that, that, that the advanced uh, sales experts that are watching this can can learn is their wording of how they want to communicate you see there are three types of communications there's audio communication there's visu visual communication and then there's kinesthetic communication and and let me give you the difference so so audio right uh, communication is someone who prefers to absorb the information learn information through audio form and their suggestions or their word play is going to sound something like i'd like to hear about your or or let me let me talk to you about right because they want to hear it they want to or or uh let me hear about your special that i that you know i was listening to the radio or i'd like to listen to you more right they're they're saying things subconsciously that they don't that they're, they're not aware of that are going to tell you their primary preference of communication and so we can pick up on these things because we can then reiterate those same words that they will be more in tune with and will they'll, that they'll absorb more um, than saying like someone was more audio. I'm not going to say words like, hey, let me show you because that that's just it's like oil in the water. It conflicts. It's not their primary preference of communication. Whereas someone who is more visual, they're going to say words subconsciously that that clearly shows you that they're more visual so they're gonna say yeah I'd like to see or I'd like to um, you know I'd like you to show me right but it's, it could be over the phone and so they're saying these words because they are more visual so this could be someone that you probably want to you know send them uh, numbers and walk through the disclosures or send them numbers or have them write down information because they're more visual so you could say words like hey I want to show you what I'm talking about here watch let me show you you could you could reiterate the words that is most applicable to their preferred style of of absorbing communication, right? And and then finally, kinesthetic, right? Like I get a feeling, or they could they could they the words that they use when they explain things, right? Um, you know, I want to hold a, 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 a piece of your information, or I want to. I, I want to get a feeling if whether or not this is right for me. They're going to say words and not too many are kinesthetic because we're just in a community or we're in an era where more people are just shut off. But but the advanced salesperson can pick up these words of, of how they prefer to communicate and then reiterate the words, right? So you can then reiterate like, can you imagine how it would feel? 
Or can you imagine having your hands on and then you're giving them their preferred method of communication, but you're using the value that you're serving. And again, as I just mentioned, what you're serving is what they need, not what they want. They're going to ask you what you want, but your job as a salesman is to serve what they need. Does that make sense? Because when you wholeheartedly understand that it's something that they need, then you have confidence in what you're delivering. And confidence is the number one rule next to enthusiasm in terms of selling because you need to have full confidence in what you're providing as a solution. If you don't have confidence in your product or your service, then you're, you're not going to do well. You're just the bottom line. You're not going to do good in sales. So you need to have utmost confidence. And the only way you can really do that is you need to wholeheartedly believe that you're giving the prospect what they need. <laughs> All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Let me show you everything I know A jungle slide